Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to learn how to account for a non-interest bearing note, otherwise known as a zero interest bearing notes receivable. And I'm going to try to cut down on my use of the word actually as it's been excessive in the past few tutorials. So uh, I'm going to definitely try to keep that to a minimum. Let's go ahead and come up with an example. So we're going to issue this note for four months. I'm going to draw four tick marks, one, two, three, four, and we're going to say that the amount that will recover, or the face value, is $6,000. So we know the duration of the note is four months, and that the interest rate is 10% on an annualized basis. Now the thing is, this is a non-interest bearing note, so we're not going to be receiving any cash payments periodically or any interest coupons. So how will we make a return? Well, we're going to be issuing this note for less than its future value or its face value in order to earn an interest return. So we're going to take the $6,000 and we're going to discount it using the compound interest equations. So we're going to use the compound interest equation instead of the simple interest because I'm just saying that this is a compound interest note. So we'll take the future value equal to present value times 1 plus r to the power of t. Let's sub in these values. So 6,000 is going to go in the future value spot. Present value will be unknown since that's what we're looking to solve for. The rate will be 10% and the term will be for four months. Now the thing is, what's incorrect with this? We have an annualized rate and we have the terms on a monthly basis. So we actually need to have these two the same. So we're going to just divide the rates by 12 months in order to get the monthly rates and then we can actually figure out the present values. So it's going to then look like this, 6,000 is equal to present value times one plus 0.083 repeating to the power of four. And that, once you actually manipulate the entire equation, it'll look like this. 6,000 divided by one plus 0.083 repeating to the power of four, and that will give us a present value of 5,800 and four dollars and ten cents. So that's how much we're going to actually issue the note for. Five thousand eight hundred and four dollars and ten cents. So let's get rid of this on the right hand side and I'm going to recognize the notes. So let's take this graphic, move it over to the left hand side and we're going to capitalize the fifty eight hundred and four dollars to the account note receivable since we're creating an asset, since we have an investment. So 58.04 and 10 cents. And what are we giving up? Well, we're giving up cash. Therefore, we need to credit cash 58.04 and 10 cents. Now, the next thing is we need to record the amount of interest that we've earned over this month. So we're gonna take the carrying value, which is the 5800 value, and we're going to multiply it by the monthly interest rate. So the 0 0.083 repeating, or on a percentage basis, that'll be 0.83%. And the reason why we're using the monthly rate, it should make sense. We're just taking the, the amount that we loaned, and we're receiving interest on that. So uh, we'll be we'll be multiplying the rate by the carrying value. So 5,804.10 cents multiplied by the rate for that month. And then the carrying value at the end of the month will multiply that by 0.83% to get the interest for the next month and so on. So let's come up with our adjustment for recording interest. So we're just gonna take that 0.83% and we're gonna multiply it by the carrying value. And that's going to be, how much will that be? That'll be $48.37, $48.37.
Now we know that the credit is going to be interest revenue. What about the debit? The debit can't be cash because we're not receiving interest in the form of cash. What we're doing is we're receiving interest, but it's being capitalized to the note. So we're just going to debit note receivable, and that's going to increase the carrying value uh, to 58. Carrying value at the end of the first month will be 58.52.47. And then for the next month, to find the interest, we'll multiply this by the rate. Now at the end of the term, it's going to be worth $6,000 because the, the discount will be amortized and we'll have a note that is worth $6,000. So to de-recognize the notes, we're just going to take the account note receivable, note receivable, and we're going to credit it since we're getting rid of that asset. And in return, we're receiving our initial investment back, which is the $6,000 dollars of cash. Well, our initial investment plus the interest that is owed to us. And there you have it. We recognize our asset. We made the adjustment for interest. Uh, you're going to have four adjustments for each month. I just did not include those since uh, I explained how to come up with the interest and then you will de-recognize the notes. So everything is in order. I'll see you guys in the next one. We're going to be looking at long-term notes and it's a little bit different, so I'll see you then.